everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Resnack. We are back on No Man's Land for more of our multiplayer Let's Play here in the world of No Man's Land on the on the server with all kinds of people. Hope you liked that first little bit of the video. It's just me doing some grape work, getting all of the grape stuff all caught up that we have nice and put in. You can kind of see around here we got all this this beautiful little vineyard. Uh, still haven't got any decorating done because, well, we've been expanding. I actually have a new business partner, Mr. Alpha, Alpha Trion, and uh, Alpha Tron, however, however you say his name. I think that's how he's, I don't know. I'm horrible with names. But Alpha, I call him Alpha. He joined up on the farm, brought in some cash, uh, and we've, we've kind of been expanding. Uh, and I'll show you here. Uh, this was the original part that we've had. I added the grapes, so we have one, two, three, these three plots, 34, 35, 36. We've got a few fields here. Uh, we have corn put in this field here that we're going to sell to Jolly for the distillery. We got some wheat that should be ready to harvest tomorrow on the server. Uh, we went ahead and added this field right here. This is our section now. We've got a couple sorghum fields that we're going to be rotating crops through. And... I bought uh, this section over here, 5253, which we're going to be adding in three fields over here. I know I'm like, there. you're probably like, Raz, but you can make one big field. Yes, I could, but I kind of like the small fields. I like to, I feel like I'm getting stuff accomplished. And really, these are just three fields really close to each other with just little strips between them. And we'll be looking at that later. Uh, the grapes are going good. Everything is doing well uh like i said this should be ready to harvest in a day uh the grapes are going to be a little bit along with the corn and then the sorghum looks like it's getting closer too and then this is going to be some crop here uh as for finances we're looking at uh we're still three hundred eighty-five thousand dollars in debt had a big day here two hundred fifty-five thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars made uh i did a little woodwork three hundred thousand and then this next day uh, $145,303. That's what we got for selling the wheat and barley beer that we've been storing up for the year. $145,000 in beer that we sold, so that's a pretty good deal. And then, of course, I bought a new tractor because we needed a we needed a, an orchard tractor or vineyard tractor, and this was on sale. This was half off, so we got this for around sixty grand, which is a pretty sweet deal because if you go in here and uh, not the fan pack, you look at the small tractors. Uh, this one, we got it for 40 grand, 40 something grand. Uh, this one, all maxed out, it's it's around a hundred thousand dollars, so we got it roughly about half off, I think 49% off or something like that is what it was. So, this is our new little orchard tractor. So, we have the, the big John Deere, and this one we call Mini Me. Yeah, that's right, this is Mini Me's tractor. A good little tractor, zippy, 26 mile per hour, great little tractor. Uh, like I said, that's our sorghum field there. If I could steer, turn our beacons on. Now uh, there's our corn fields. Everything's going great. Let's go park this tractor. And I'll show you kind of another expansion way off there in the distance. You can kind of see those dirt lines and we'll be expanding there. Uh, we, we thought about going and buying this field right here, but I think my friend Jolly wanted this and this was just kind of sitting empty. Uh, kind of one of the rules is, is your land is supposed to be attached, but we asked the group, do you guys care if we buy a little section over here? Cause we just have our little farm and they were like, yes, go for it. So we did, uh, not much activity here in the winery because we don't have any grapes yet. As for graping equipment, I don't own anything yet other than this little tractor all by itself here. On this, on this little farm. But things should be picking up now that we have more dirt to work with, generating more income and uh, moving along quite nice. We'll go over here and I'll show you the stack of beer that we've got piled up. This is honey beer and we also have a bunch of strawberry beer and we're still making it. This thing never stops running. Right here we got barley, honey, strawberries, water running through. Uh, we're not making just barley beer because the honey beer and the strawberry beer pay so much better. Uh, I don't, I'm really not going to waste barley on just standard beer. So we're just going to make these two specialty beers and then, then just the wheat. When we get some wheat, which will be very soon, 
because this will be harvested and that will go into the brewery and we will continue to work on that. No other real expansions. Uh, I got an auto load trailer for the pallets, which is very, very nice. You don't have to manually load. Yes, that is cheating, but uh, whatever. We like the auto load trailer and that's about it. Let me jump up here to the old John Deere. Uh, but yeah, this is our new expansion. This is where I'm going to be uh, putting in three new fields. Got three fields up the hill there. Uh, went ahead and picked up all the grass. Got it all built up. There's 113 6,000 liter bales. So 678,000 liters of silage, which we will pull off of here. So that'd be probably about another 150 grand that's going to be in the bank just from buying this field and mowing it. Uh, usually pretty pretty good rule of thumb. If you buy a section, you mow it, bale it, or mow it and turn it into silage, it will pay for itself. So that's a pretty good rule of thumb on this map. So if you bought field 54, mowed it all off, you would almost get $85,000 just in silage. So it's almost like free land as long as you mow it and turn it into silage, but yeah. That's enough for the talky talk for me. I'm going to get to work. Enjoy the tunes. We're going to time lapse the heck out of this. I thought this would be a good opportunity to do some awesome time lapsing. Uh, try try my skill at time lapsing. Try and keep my ang my camera angle nice and stable and, and, and doing stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy it and I will talk to you when it's done. Well, that was fun. Well, I, I mean, I, th I thought it was fun. I don't know if you thought it was fun, but I thought it was fun. 
A uh, big thank you to my friend Gamey Joy. He was our stunt driver there for the last scene. Trying to get a little bit different angle with the time lapse. It's kind of like coming towards that. I, I, I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, big, big thank you to Gamey Joy. You know what time it is. It's rock picking time. That's right. Let's unfold this big, beautiful machine. So these are rock pickers by... Uh, this is a modded rock picker by Iconic. I-C-O-N-I-K. Google search Iconic. I-C-O-N-I-K. You will find the rock picker. It has an increased volume that it holds, and it and it runs much quicker. Um, just because otherwise you're here forever doing rocks. But you can see it has like a 20 mile per hour or 18 mile per hour working speed, and it holds... Oh crap, ton of rocks. And it comes in all different kinds of colors. You can customize the color and all that stuff. It's a great little mod, definitely worth checking out by Iconic. Yeah, now we get to pick rocks. Rocks are fun. Not really. Uh, rocks are great because here on this map we have a, uh, again, realism's not, not my key here, but we have a debris crusher. Uh, in fact, I'll actually show you. Uh, it's over here at Cowboy and um, I can jump to it. So this is the debris crusher that we're using. It actually is a placeable that generates income. It's got these little solar panels on it and it actually generates hourly income. Uh, but it also turns the debris rocks into lime. Um, and uh, not, not the most realistic thing in the world, but very, very useful. Uh, to take one fill type and turn it into a useful fill type and uh, makes makes for fun gameplay. So we'll be bringing the rocks over here and giving it to the guys and it converts 1000 rocks to 4000 liters of lime. Again, like I said, doesn't have to be realistic because this is what it is. Uh, but I'll be delivering the rocks over here and then I, I kind of get free lime for it. Um, and I don't have to buy equipment because they just let me borrow theirs because it's because of the conversion of rocks to lime, it, it kind of works out for everybody. It does. You see, I got 24.4 hours on the old 7R. It's been a great tractor for us. And yeah, these fields are going to look great. We're going to put some wheat and barley in these um, for this fall because we can double crop here on this map. Uh, so as soon as I get the wheat and barley in, we can harvest it early and double crop these fields into something else. At least that is the plan going forward. We'll skip a row. Just kind of skip a row. Kind of keep moving. Getting these rocks picked up. This thing, uh, I think it'll hold 10,000 liters of stone. It's just a lot. That'd be kind of heavy, right? But hey, we're here to have fun and not to be realistic. That's going to be it for this episode, folks, because, well... You know what's going to happen next. I got a rock pick. I got a lime. I got to fertilize. I got to plant. I got to do all those things. And you know what? I could make a video on it, but you know how it works. And I'm just really trying to capture uh, just bits and pieces off of No Man's Land. It's not really like a cover everything kind of series. It's more of a fun stuff showing you different kind of things series. Hopefully in the next one, we'll be harvesting some grapes maybe. Or what I really like to do is, is I'm going to talk to the gang because we have harvest time coming up soon later in the fall. And what I would like to do is make a really nice cinematic video, five, six minutes long of everybody harvesting, like all the different harvesters working, set to some really good music, people hauling, and I can get some really cool angles and it'd be nothing but cinematic. I think that'd make a really, really good video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you like to see something like that? And, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.